Hello, Abnormal. Uh, hope y'all are having a great Monday. I'm having a great Monday. I've got good, good news today. Great news. God is good. It's a really good day. Um, I got an encounter for you that I want to talk about. Then after the encounter, I want to talk about an encounter I had. I know y'all probably heard it, but it kind of reminded me of a encounter that I've had. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get to this video. About seven years ago in Sierra Vista, a little city in Arizona about 15 minutes from the Mexican border, uh, Miss Fortune had it hard, and I had been homeless for about six months at that point. So the usual schedule for me was to be awake until sunrise. The nights were cold, and staying moving kept me warm. The first rays of sunlight were so warm that I was able to sleep. I would only sleep for a little bit before I was back up, hitting the local charity for lunch. Cat nap through dinner, wake back up as the sun goes down and wander through the desert to stay warm until sunrise. I run you through my schedule so that you know this thing happened during my normal operating hours while I was fully awake. It's not possible that it was a dream and not likely to be my imagination. So I had two routes during the day. I would be in town so I would be unarmed. But I had a straight-edge sword back in my burrow that I had bought when I had a job and a car and a house. During the night, I wandered the desert, and I would often be exploring far enough out that I could no longer even see the lights in town. So I would wear my sword sheathed on my back, just in case measure. I'd really never used it to carve up anything but yucca stocks for the roof of my burrow. Okay, setup complete. Here's what I saw. I'm walking along, following the edge of a small wash, trolling a stick I found. I'd walk for about an hour to get there, so I probably had a good five minutes, a good five miles or so from any human on the planet. I hear a thump, thump from up ahead, and there's some scruffy bushes ahead, so I can't see anything. Not wanting to sneak up on something dangerous like a monster javelin or a bear, I take my stick and I smack the nearest tree a couple of times. Thumping stops, and about 30 feet ahead of me, I see a head poke up. From behind the bush. A head I've seen before? Kinda. It had big eyes and toughy bits on it, and it was basically set up like any other primate face, but it also looked almost reptilian. So I did what any normal person would do, and I grabbed my sword handle and yanked it. Well, it doesn't really work that way. I yanked it forward and accidentally broke the strap that kept the sheath on my back. So here I am, brandishing a sheath sword as a lizard, as a, at a lizard monkey, as I would just describe it, five mites from nowhere, and it stands up to a full height to four feet, and the way it ran was very scary. It ran ostrich-like, but it also kind of looked like a person, a person alien monkey, reptilian. It was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen. You know, I ran into something like that one night with my mom. We were fishing, it was dark, and I was sitting by the, the lanterns. And she had went to the truck, which was parked behind us, to go get some more bait. So she tells me, Michael, come here. And you can tell in her voice when she says that, when she seriously needs me. So I walked over to where she was at, and she was standing at the side of the truck, looking across the truck over into the dark shadows where the lanterns were just barely reaching the lantern light. And there was a tree standing there that had a fort. I believe it was a locust tree. And while we're standing there, my mom says, don't act like you noticed, just look over at that tree. And I look over at the tree, there's something in the fork of the tree, it's round, and you can tell that it's green, it's got like dots on it, like black dots. And I thought, oh God, that's a huge bullfrog. And she said, no, 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 keep looking. My eyes were still adjusting from being up close to the lanterns fishing. When my eyes started to adjust, I could see the yellow eyes of this creature blinking. I'm not sure what it was, but the way they were blinking, it was uh, almost like a slower blink than what we blink. And then I could see the face and everything start to form. It was like a green face with yellow eyes, and it had black dots all over its face. My brother-in-law, at the time, had walked up to the truck also to see what we were doing. He also got to witness it standing there. It was looking through the fork of the tree at us, just blinking. We ignored the creature, went back, started getting our stuff together to leave. 
and it started making whistling and baby sounds. It sounded like a baby crying. It made a cat noise. It made a cow noise. It made several noises that night. Cries, you know, like a baby crying. We ignored it, put our stuff in the truck, and ended up leaving. So, I know I've encountered this creature at least twice. I'm not sure what it is. I know it's not a Bigfoot. I know it's not a Dogman. It's something different. It walks with a bent over gait. It has a hump in its back. It kind of swings its long arms. Kind of walks like an old man with a hurt back. It's about seven foot four from what I could tell measuring the tree. So pretty tall, but it's lanky. It's skinny. And that was a pretty, pretty scary encounter. I'm not sure what it was. I've never encountered anything like that. I'm hoping to encounter it again to be able to get some video evidence or at least a photo. And that's why we keep going to some of the places we're going to because that's where it was seen. I hope you all appreciated this one. Kaylee's doing it, hers right now. She's working on one. It'll be her first release of a video. And I hope you all go over and watch it and support her on that. She's very nervous. But uh, she's going to be doing one also, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Share it out. And uh, don't forget to hit that like. Smash that like down. It matters a lot. And we'll see you on the next one. Keep your head on a swivel.